In this video, we will discuss the different visualization and filtering options that you can take on your home page. For starters, we'll discuss the different views I can set up. In the very top left hand corner, I can choose to select my view. You do see I have a few saved views below. Um, the open jobs, all jobs, and then all candidates view. The all candidates view will actually give me a pipeline overview of each and every applicant and where they currently reside in my workflow. Whereas the jobs based view will give you a defined view of the specific positions in a tile or list format. I can actually change the tile to a list simply by selecting the cogwheel in the top right hand corner. I can then amend how I'd like that displayed. With the column headers here, I can also change and include additional columns for what I would like displayed. By selecting the plus sign up above, I can then choose which specific filter that I'd like included. To remove or amend the order, I can drag up and down to have those visually displayed, as well as delete if I no longer wish to utilize that column. Once this view is particularly tailored as I see fit, I can choose to save this as a system-wide view, meaning this open jobs view will now be entirely changed and amended with the alterations I've made, or I can simply save this as a different view. Once that view is saved, I'll see it available in the My Views section. Now navigating back to our jobs view, I can also filter this data down. Up above, I do have a filter option with which I can change the way the data is displayed if I just like to see jobs owned by a specific individual, those that have recent or particular activity. You can come in as well to make your own custom filter, which will appear as a new dropdown. In this case, we'll add those in a particular sales stage. I just like to see those jobs that are either in progress or prospecting. You can add that in as a brand new filter and come to select it at any time. Additionally, if we clear this by removing all filters, you do also have the capability to create quick filter tiles. This will function in a very similar way to the filters up above, but will give me the capability through a left click to toggle on and off for that filter. I filter down by job just owned in this case by Eric, or maybe those by Eric or Ian. I can always remove the filter and create my own, again by selecting the cogwheel and navigating to the quick filter tile section here. This will give me the capability to reorganize if I did have a certain visual display that I preferred, or use the plus sign to build a new quick filter. I can select from the available listing, or by scrolling down to the bottom, I can actually create a brand new custom filter. We'll add a filter condition and I would like to see particular jobs that I've tagged. I can begin typing to receive a pick list of available tags or use the magnifying glass to choose from a full listing. Once I've made my selection and selected OK, I can now see that as an available tag to filter. Once confirming that change, I'll now have that here as a new quick filter tile I can once again save this view as a system-wide view, that way all users will have the option to choose from the available tiles. That will conclude this video, so thanks for watching.